The College of Psychologists, a bunch of people put in power by the government basically, is threatening to take my dad's psychology license because he's been criticizing the government. This isn't a joke. This has been torturing my family since 2018, seriously bullying my dad in a way that really caused everyone in my family a lot of stress. I think it's part of what contributed to him being quite ill in 2019, 2020. The colleges are in charge of doctors, massage therapists, dentists. They've been around since about the 60s. And it turns out, which I guess isn't that surprising, they've been infiltrated by the government and now it looks like they're being used to control particularly conservative working professionals. Think you can trust your doctor to talk to you about anything that the government doesn't back? Definitely not, although we probably already knew that. This is kind of how colleges work in part. So this is how bad it is. He's getting investigated because of tweets he's tweeted, personal tweets, opinions, things he said on Joe Rogan. It's, it's such a scam too. They're requiring him to do media retraining that he pays $225 an hour for, for an unspecified amount of time. And then at the end of that training, they decide whether or not he's learned anything and whether he can continue being a psychologist. This isn't even a process that goes to court. It's just this regulatory board of like 12 tyrannical individuals. It's crazy that what you say online can be used to get rid of your license if people don't like you politically, which doesn't sound very democratic to me. They don't like his opinions, so they're trying to shut him down, but right now it's in a very real way. The tweets they've identified as problematic include the tweet about Elliot Page, dad's trying to protect kids from being sterilized, that's definitely not appropriate. The tweet about the obese woman on Sports Illustrated, again, obesity should not be celebrated, it kills people. And then tweets criticizing Justin Trudeau and another member of the Liberal Party, threatening to take your job as a serious threat. Anybody can submit a complaint about a psychologist or a doctor for that matter, anybody. It doesn't have to be a former client. So for dad, it's random people on Twitter complaining about him. Out of this audience of 20 million, he has 12 complaints. The college could throw these complaints out, but instead they're threatening him and have been for years, wasting his time, bullying him, and threatening to take his license. Maybe we'll do a podcast about it. I'm not entirely sure what to do here other than tell people about what's going on, but maybe complaining back at them is appropriate. You can go to the link, I'm gonna link it below, and you can enter in a complaint about the college itself and the people running it because they're bullying and harassing my family. So I don't know where the protection there is. Where's the protection against a tyrannical organization that's set in place to protect the government? This is basically the communist union at this point, picking on a professor for his opinions on Twitter against the government. It's absurd. Third, if they end up managing to take his license, which will really be hard on my dad, you won't be able to trust your doctor, your lawyer, anybody in Canada if the government is just controlling all working professionals. God forbid you tweet out your opinion about the government. You might have your license taken away or be subject to their 1984 media retraining that you pay for. Oh my gosh. On their website it says, anyone who has a concern about a psychologist or psychological associate can file a complaint or submit a report. This includes a client, a family member, or friend of the client, an employer, an insurer, a colleague, or a general member of the public, which is definitely great for celebrities because no one's gonna go after them randomly on Twitter. You can't just complain about the college. You actually have to complain about an individual. But look at here, it shows who's running this scam right on their website. According to this guy on Twitter, these are the people, you can see it right on their website, running this organization that's currently threatening my dad. Even Elon's responded to dad's tweet, which was really a tweet for help in all honesty because we're not sure what to do here. Obviously, he's not gonna be doing their media retraining, but this is pretty scary. I thought it was a good idea to make a video to tell you what's going on. It's a serious war out there. It's crazy and we could use some help here. He's tweeted out, the Ontario College of Psychologists has demanded that I submit myself to mandatory social media communication retraining with their experts, among other crimes, retreating Pierre Polyev, and criticizing Justin Trudeau and his political allies. This is real. This is actually happening. I've been accused of harming people, although none of the complainants involved in the current action were clients of mine, past or present, 
or even acquainted with any of my clients. I'm to take a course of such training with reports documenting my progress or face an in-person tribunal and suspension of my right to operate as a licensed clinical psychologist. About a dozen people from all over the world submitted complaints about my public statements on Twitter and Rogan over a four-year period out of the 15 million who follow me on social media, claiming that I had harmed, not those people, just harmed people with his views. And then here they are. You can go to College of Psychologists of Ontario. There's the council and the professional members. Feel free to submit complaints about them. Ridiculous. Guess we'll see if my dad continues to be a clinical psychologist. 